Chinese phono preamps. They've been pretty, they've been getting pretty good, which is why I was excited to try this one out. All right, this is the Duic Audio T4 Plus vacuum tube phono preamplifier. Duic sent this to me for review purposes, but as always, my opinions are my own. I thought it'd be fun to do this in the Friday mailbag. What's cool about this phono preamp is one, it's a tube preamp, and two, it can handle both moving magnet and moving coil cartridges. It has a multiple input impedance switch here on the side. I assume most people have moving magnet cartridges. I do anyway, but it's good to have that flexibility. This preamp retails for around 110 bucks US, 150 bucks Canadian, but watch out for sales. In addition to being a phono preamp, it has a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input for your phone or other device. It's got a headphone jack. In the box here, check this out. This, uh, what do we have in here? It comes with a double RCA to 3.5 millimeter adapter that allows you to connect more stuff to that input. It's got a, an aluminum alloy knob, it's a volume knob, it's got gold plated terminals, an aluminum alloy shell, it's pretty durable, it seems pretty durable here anyway. It's pretty easy to assemble, there's not much here involved at all. The most difficult part is uh, putting the tubes in and that wasn't hard at all. I remember back from my guitar days, and I used to uh, fool around, with, well I still do, with tubes on my guitar amps. I always heard you should wear gloves when touching the tubes. I don't hear that much anymore, so I'm not sure what's up with that, but I didn't use gloves to put these tubes on. I think it's something of the oil in your skin is bad for tubes. I don't know, maybe it's a wives' tale. But yeah, this is pretty easy to put together. Looks uh, looks pretty solid. Let's head over to the music room. I gotta say, I gotta say, these Chinese hi-fi, these Chinese audio components are, are getting pretty good. Like I have the FOSI audio uh, phono preamp. It's got the tubes as well. I reviewed this one a while back. I, I bought this one for my secondary stereo. I really dig it and I've been using those Chinese Class D mini apps from a variety of manufacturers and they all seem they all seem pretty good. The, the stuff has evolved a lot in recent years. So, uh, which brings us to today's the Duic Audio Phono Preamp, which we just opened. So here's the scoop. That unboxing I did like a month ago I've been using this for the past four weeks in my home setup here in the music room. So I've been running my Techniques SL1200 into here and this has been outputted into my Marantz PM6004 integrated amp and that goes to my Fluence tower speakers. I did not test some of the functionality. I didn't test the, the headphone input. I don't really listen to records of vinyl with headphones. I didn't bother with that. And I did not test the auxiliary input. I used this strictly as a phono preamp. And I got to say, I was pretty impressed with it. First of all, I think it's cool that it has this, this VU meter when you're playing your records, right? You can, it balances up and down with the music. And there's a sensitivity switch here too, because obviously as you turn the volume up, the, the VU, uh, VU meter is going to be bouncing around a lot more, but if you have it low, you know, it's just going to stick in the first part. So you can adjust the VU meter if that is a concern for you. I did not do any AB comparisons between this phono preamp and this one, but I did compare this to the built-in phono preamp in my Marantz PM6004 integrated amp. Compared to my Marantz, I thought the Duic audio preamp had a little more bottom end. The Marantz was a little cleaner, um, but conversely, some may argue that this preamp was a little warmer. What else? It was quiet. I like the fact that it had adjustable gain. That was pretty cool, adjustable volume. Um, there are opportunities to swap out these tubes and try different tubes. I never tried that, but I thought the stock ones here sounded pretty good. And, and it's a cool looking preamp, right? It's weird, it's a little weird. I mean, I've never seen anything quite like this before. It stands vertical, right? This one's horizontal. This one's vertical. So it kind of fits in beside the stereo nicely, but it is kind of, it's kind of weird looking, but I kind of dig that, man. It's not something you see every day. On the side, it has the DIN switches. I didn't test those at all. Again, I use this strictly um, as a uh, moving, with my moving magnet cartridge. Overall, it's cheap, sounded good, fun to look at. And the price point, 100 bucks, 110 bucks US. I don't really have a lot 
or if anything really to complain about good value well worth it so uh do a cardio thank for thank you very much for saying this over i'll leave a link below this video if anyone else wants to check this out all right 33 do you use a phono preamp what brand do you like it do you recommend it have you tried this chinese stuff let me know in the comments below i'll be back again real soon until then dear 33 keep on spinning